Good evening. I'd like to call to order the special meeting of the Walt Township Board of Education for Tuesday, June 21st, 2022. Please stand for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Smythe, could we have the sunshine statement and roll call, please? Yes, this is the Walt Township Board of Education meeting for which adequate notice under the Open Public Meeting Act was provided by a notice to the co-star Asbury Park Press, all Walt Township Public Schools, Town Administration Office, and in the Board Administration Office on June 9th, 2022. Take a roll call. Mr. Buffa? Here. Mr. Hall? Ms. Hodnett? Here. Mr. Malev? Here. Mr. Nasser? Here. Mr. Sam Flippo? Here. Ms. Stites? Here. Mr. Wondrak? Here. Mr. Adnesia? Here. Thank you. All right. This time I am going to open up for public comment on agenda action items only. So those are the items we will be voting on this evening. Yes, come up to the microphone and just give your name for the record, please. former member of this Board of Education for 15 years. And I voted against Aaron Embaum for principal at Old Mill back then. I am not confident with this board or with the superintendent at this time for what I see on the agenda of hiring two principals that should not be rehired. And July 25th at 4 p.m. is just around the corner. Thank you. Is there anybody else for public comment on agenda action items? Seeing none, we will close public comment. Okay, could I have a motion for the consent agenda for number four and five and six on our agenda? I'll make that motion. Could I have a second? Second, Ms. Hodnett. Um, and I just want to clarify one thing on our uh, agenda. Um, just in regards to uh, Mr. Smite's contract, which is listed on here, I know it's always, there, there's, it, for whatever reason, it always becomes a topic of a uh, conversation, but procedurally, so everybody's aware, uh, Business administrators' contracts are sent to the county executive superintendent, which we did. That happened on June 16th. Uh, Dr. Richens um, looks it over and approves it and then sends it back to the district, which was June 17th. And then it's placed on our agenda for public vote. Um, this is the format that has happened every year uh, for every business administrator that's served in the district. And until they change the law, that is the procedure that will go forward um, every year for our business administrator here in the district, as well as what happens to every other business administrator in every district in the state of New Jersey. Uh, we have motion and second. Any questions, discussion? Seeing none, Mr. Smythe, roll call, please. Mr. Buffer. Yes. Ms. Hodnett. Yes, with the exception of number 4A. Mr. Malif? Yes, with the exception of number 4, item 3, number 8, items 4 and 5, and number 16, all. Mr. Nasser? Yes. Mr. Sanfilippo? Yes. Ms. Stites? Yes. Mr. Wondrak? Yes. Mr. Anesia? Yes, uh, with the exception I'm abstaining from number 4A, number 8, number 4, and number 5, and all of number 16. Okay. All right. Uh, really noted. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we will open it up for public comment on any school matter. Please come up to the microphone and give your name for the record.
is Luis Cabezas. Um, I just want to say that in the very uh, dis not distant past, I um, had the utmost faith uh, for the Board of Education. And I just want to say that throughout what happened past in this year and leading up to now, that um, the Board of Education has lost all my faith in it. And I don't. We got to do better. We got to advance in the next year and years to come. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anybody else for public comment? Michael was so far away this meeting. Sally Balioni, I have two children. Uh, one is going into and the other is already in um, intermediate school. A couple things, I had uh, reached out about the new teaching program uh, for WIS next year and got a uh, email back from <clears throat> Ms. Steiner that there would be a parent meeting scheduled for July 1 or after soon thereafter July 1. I was wondering if there could be some supporting documentation sent to the parents before that meeting just because she said, you know, to bring any questions to her attention, but I don't know what I don't know. I don't know enough about the program to even ask a question. Um, so I have, you know, two, di two children at different uh, academic levels, so I just want to be knowledgeable before that meeting so I'm not you know trying to figure it out while you guys are discussing it or presenting it I'm um, also uh, this past year there was a lot of talk different subject about the seventh grade class which will now be the eighth grade class um, I know coming from Old Mill um, the, the class student numbers were large um, my son as he went through the Old Mill school every year there was another teacher that had to be brought to the grade because they, had to, they needed an additional teacher for the number of students. I don't know if that was the, the uh, situation all over the elementary schools, but this seventh grade obviously has more children maybe than some of the other uh, grades. I've heard they're uh, a problem, a discipline problem. I heard they're you know, a, little, um, a little bit much to handle. I know some of the new strategy and the reduction of the lunch has to do with the fact that they, they um, maybe are a little more rambunctious than they should be. Uh, but there's also been rumor that um, they are not gonna be going on a class trip because of that situation or the, the discipline problem. And I just wanna be able to say on the good kids' behalf that uh, maybe not everyone should be penalized for the actions of a few. And, um, you know, I'm happy to, if we need more chaperones or whatever we need to do to make sure that those kids get a class trip, um, they happen to be the first grade uh, from fifth grade that got hit with the, epi with the pandemic, so they didn't have a lot of things going on fifth into sixth grade. Um, they didn't, you know, do stuff in seventh grade. Um, so I'm just pleading for their, their case. Um, my husband is very involved in the football program and the baseball program and commands discipline as he walks. He's a big guy. And the, the boys especially do respect him. So don't tell him I said this, Christina, but I volunteer him to go. If we need people to go, <laughs> he's the guy to do it. I mean, I'm, I'm usually the mom who's yelling at kids at the football field that I don't know. And if it's your kid, I'm really sorry, but I think that we need to give them board boundaries and, and the more people that we have to do that for them, the better off they'll be in life. So if that can be considered as it relates to their eighth grade experience and their trip, I would appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anybody else for public comment? Hi, I'm Jackie Wolstein. I have two students in the district. Um, both are attending Allenwood. Um, one who is um, in the special services program and I've spoken with a lot of other parents who have children who utilize the special services program in Allenwood and at other schools as well. Um, and there's a lot of rumors going around. A lot of us are really concerned because our principals are so deeply involved in our children's education and in ensuring that they're not left behind or left out. Um, some concerns that have been brought to me specifically are that this uh, potentially the self-contained classroom 
that's currently at Allenwood, maybe moving to West Belmar or one of the other elementary schools. That's not happening. Okay, good. Um, that's that's an easy one. Okay, good, because my son would have a mild heart attack. I, 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 just um, to eat, like nothing, I, I think safe to say, at Allenwood is changing. Okay, good, um, because I, again, parents were concerned that Dr. O'Connell may be leaving the school, going to another, and she's like the rock on um, the heart and soul of that school. And for those of us with kids there, I mean, she knows every parent, every student. Um, and I know the other principals are the same way. So for parents who have children whose principals might be shifting, I don't know if you might be able to offer um, some guidance for how those parents can work with their kids to adjust to those changes. Um, because if they come up two weeks before school starts and their students are accustomed to being greeted by a specific principal, like my children are at Allenwood, um, I know that would be really disruptive to them and um, you know that the children who are in special services do tend, uh, not all of them, but at least mine and my friends' children have attachment. Um, they become really, really committed and attached to the faces that they know and they recognize and just anything that'll make them feel more comfortable with these transitions would be really helpful. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anybody else for public comment? Seeing none, we will close public comment. Dr. Handerhand, did you have anything this evening? I do, I do. Uh, I would like to um, express congratulations to graduates and their families. Graduations and celebrations marking different milestones uh, really have peppered the month of June within uh, all the schools in the district. And um, it was a great, great uh, month for our schools. Um, I do hope that the summer proves to be a healthy and memorable one for every single member of this community. Last Tuesday, I shared that determining administrative appointments was a top priority. As you will note from this evening's agenda, effective July 1st, Ms. Enbon will serve as, in the dual role of Wall Primary School Principal and Director of Curriculum K-5. Ms. Antonello, from a current principal at Central School will join Old Mill School as principal. Our current K-12 World Language, Fine Arts and Performing, uh, Fine and Performing Arts and ESL Supervisor, uh, Mr. Estradios Monifis will serve as the acting principal of Central School. I will assume the role of acting principal at Wall High School. Tonight, we are also approving Ms. Marnie Henry Parks as the Director of Athletics. I know that I am not alone in being excited as we welcome the new school year. Back to you, Mr. Adonisio. Thank you, Dr. Handerhan. Any board members, anything? No? Uh, just congratulations to our graduates and uh, congratulations to our uh, administration and, and the staff for an incredible uh, graduation uh, both of them uh, eighth grade and high school and a special thank you to uh, Barlow's um, the flower arrangement that they had this year was uh, probably the best one I've ever seen uh, my nine years on the board and even attending graduations for family and friends in previous years so uh, they really outdid themselves and and uh, great testament to their dedication to our schools and and our community um, so with that we have uh, to go into executive session for a student matter. Uh, no action will be taking and we will be adjourning from executive session. With that, could I have a motion? Motion, Mr. Wandra, could I have a second? I'll second. Uh, second. Uh, Mrs. Hodnett, any questions, discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye, okay. Uh, thank you everyone for coming tonight. Have a good evening and enjoy the rest of the summer. <laughs>